Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today's project is a 1970 Ford F100 made by M2 Machines. Typically these are the only trucks I can find at Walmart. Once all the pickers make their way through and clean out all the Chevys, I'm left with all the Fords. I like this pickup. I think it's got a lot going for it. It's got a good stance. I like the tires. The tires have come a long way in the M2 Machines world. Look at these things. So my plan for this truck today is I wanted to do a kind of a cool orange color. I've been meaning to try out and I want to do the classic white top. Maybe the little hubcaps in there need to be chromed or something or maybe we'll chrome the whole wheel. I'm not sure. We'll do something with those but we'll just get started on it today and hopefully we end up with something pretty nice at the end of this video. Gleek, 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 gleek. The M2 machines can be a little bit labor intensive similar to a green light that I'd show you guys the dashboard. She's a little hard to see but she's really throwing out them Ford vibes. That is a nice looking grill boy. If we put a little bit of a wash on there before we do the assembly. Oh, she looked like a million bucks. It already looks good, but it would look better. And the last thing we got to do is take out these little baby triangle windows. Look at that, <laughs> that little guy on there. Uh, hell yeah, look at this thing. Mismatched door. I like the look of that. We should make a crusty old truck one of these days. Well, none of this stuff really needs any filing, so that's good. Just hit everything with the old scotch spray, get it ready for paint. Since I'm doing candy paint, it's going to be way easier if I glue these two parts together now, rather than try to paint them separately. When you're using the candy, all it takes is a, like one, one overlap too many in one spot, and it's going to be a darker shade. I'll put a little dabber right here. Takes a hot second to set up. So maybe we'll throw our base back on. And this will keep it in the right position. Hello, oh, first try. Oh yeah. All the spots that are missing, that's all stuff I have just left in the paint booth. Paint booth needs a good cleaning. I've got to bring all those lost paints back from the paint booth. So I think once we lay down our orange, we're gonna put some kind of like little company, some small time company logo on the door here. And we'll have some real nice looking paint on this. So I'll give this a quick degrease with some hot soapy water and I will meet you guys in the spray booth.
So it's looking pretty good so far. I was just in the process of re-gluing this. I don't know if you guys noticed. And I actually broke the glue in the spray booth because I noticed that the box wasn't 100% straight. So rather than having a corner of the, the cab here missing some paint, I decided to break that glue in the spray booth and I finished my paint job. And I was just in the process of gluing her back straight again. So now we should be good to go for a clear coat. And I think I'm gonna save these for another project. I really like these. I like the old vibe on them. Would have went real nice on this old blazer. There's so many people that complained about those like white pinstripes on those tires. That looks a little bit more appropriate. Still not feeling the all white rims. I really do think they need a little splash of chrome or something, but maybe I'll leave these wheels on here for now. That does look better. So I've got another set of these, premium line Hot Wheels off-road tires. I'm feeling these. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna Dremel a little path. It's gonna be fine. I have to Dremel myself a couple slots so that my axle would slip right to the bottom of the base. So I'll kind of just get them straight and then I'll be able to put one single drop of glue. Actually, I could probably put the glue first. We we'll just sneak in there with my little anteater tip. Beauty. All right, here's our body back from paint. I should probably see if this even fits on here. With these big meats. Hell yeah, bro, look at that. I'm gonna paint this roof, I guess, first and foremost, and we'll throw a decal or something on the door. So I'm gonna go spray this quick, and we'll come back, and we'll put on a couple of decals and start doing some details on this bad boy. I'm just installing our doors again. This thing's gonna look real slick, especially once we get that uh, clear coated. I think I'm gonna go with Doolin's Heating and Air Conditioning, New Hill, North Carolina. I think that's a good match for this old 70s truck. Hopefully the colors kind of work on top of this orange, but we'll see in a second here. I'm gonna use some micro set. You know, I'm trying to straighten that out just a hair, but the decal is just not having it. She is clinged. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I mean, what else could it be? It's got to be Doolin's, right? Is that a name? Thank you, Furnace, for never missing a beat during my videos. I painted our windshield wiper blades, door handles, fuel cap, express delivery on the hood. Hillbilly on the tailgate. She's a nice looking pickup boy. I think now is the time to go ahead and clear coat this thing. And then I'll come back and we'll put on our bumpers and our taillights and everything. And we'll do a final assembly and have a look at this beast. It should look pretty nice once she's all together. She's looking good already. 
Put the motor in there already. Pink. Just lost one of the headlights. Dad needs some lunch. Starting to get a little shaky here. I already got both my taillights on, so I think that pretty much does it for our parts. I'm going to throw the interior in, put it on the base, and then I'm going to do a reveal. I'm excited. This one's looking pretty good, guys. Well, here she is. Check out our Doolin's heating and air conditioning shop truck now. She is one good-looking 1970 Ford F100. Check out the ground clearance on that beast. She's looking real good. I really like the white top with, like, the fancy paint. I think that's a real good matchup. This thing's looking pretty tough. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like to support the channel. Say hello in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one.